Alternate Path Pattern, Introduction to Harmonic Patterns. Now the Alternate Path Pattern is a specific type of W and M structure that is uh, particularly denoted by the B point. This is different than the regular BAT pattern. Most people are aware of the BAT pattern, but the alternate pattern has uh, some different measurements as well. Let's take a look at the BAT pattern, though. Most people do know about the 50% retracement required that defines the regular version. This also uses an ABCD minimum, uh, but we look for the alternate calculation in most structures. The regular BAT pattern can have a 1618 or as much as a 2618 BC projection, but all of this is focused on the 886 XA measurement. That PRZ is defined by the 886 and the best numbers that complement that area. Now the alternate bat pattern is inclusive of the 886, but we look for a much deeper retracement. Bat pattern looks like this. M structure for the bullish pattern. Your B point is typically at a 50% level, can be as low as a 38.2%, and we'll get into that in a second. But the bearish structure, this W formation, again, where X is the highest, A is the lowest, you form the B point at that 50% level, and that sets up this eventual 886 retest. The C point, remember, cannot take out A. That's the definition of the W structure. But the alternate bat, how is that different from the regular version? Uh, it, it There are profound differences, and it underscores why we need to differentiate these M and W structures. The different measurements for the XA, the BC, and the ABCD elements are different than the regular version, and we'll look at why. It's a powerful structure, and the alternate bat pattern Uh, is uh, effective in particular markets where uh, the initial point is tend to be retested. So we look for the W or M structure with a midpoint at 38.2% or less. Now we'll look at some examples, but the alternate bat then sets up for a deeper retest, usually as much as the initial starting point. We look for a minimum 886. XA measurement, but we create a zone of 886 and 113, so we use both numbers. Look at that area just beyond that 113 as the make or break and the stop loss limit. We really do not see price action in valid alternate bat patterns that exceed the 113. And we're really looking at the 886 versus the, the complete 1.0 XA level. Take a look at this illustration here. A nice M formation, and again, we're always looking at the B point. That's at a 38.2% or less, and that sets up this deeper retracement. Now, we include the 113, but we do look at a minimum 886 level. We typically like to see this actually come back and retest the starting point at X. It utilizes the 886, but again, the 113 is the absolute low point for the potential reversal zone. And that's what that looks like. I have the 886. And again, the ABCD is a minimum, but that's usually an alternate calculation. It's extended. Same with the BC measurement. And the 113, that XA level, that's the absolute low. So here is a bullish bat pattern. This is Euro Yen on a 15-minute basis. And the B point is at a 38.2% level. So we know absolutely this will have to retest the 886, if not exceed it a little bit. We could even look down and include this 1.0 level as potential support. But as soon as that 886 is hit, we're looking in this area for the reversal. Here's that potential reversal zone. Now the 886 is a little bit Uh, underneath uh, 2.0 BC and also the 1618 ABCD. So both of those measurements complement that 886 and set up the entire ideal turning point. 
Here is the 113, and that would be a part of the stop loss. Any price action that gets exceeds that 113 would be the stop loss limit. Now, the alternate bearish bat has a W structure where, again, we just look at the B point at 382. Here's the British pound, US dollar in a 60 minute. Here's the W structure starting with a pretty distinct high point. Uh, a, a sharp drop down to form A. Now look where the B point happens at the 3A2. Come down for a C point. This gives you the W structure. And we look at a minimum at the 886. That would be about 142.10. But with this formation, especially that BC314, all of that is pointing up here around 142.30, 14240. Your stop loss is just above there, 113 here at 142.60. But clearly, we hit the 113. This aggressive reactive rally starts to pause. And it's at the right numbers. That's the correct potential reversal zone for this type of W alternate bat bearish pattern. That PRZ looks like this. We stack the 113 on the top side. But we're, again, we're looking in this area. We want a minimum 886. We're looking for an alternate ABCD, some other complementary measures, but we're looking in that zone not to exceed the 113 for the alternate bat. Here's the potential reversal zone on that whole 60 minute chart. Hits the top numbers. There's the 113 at 142.40. As soon as it hits it, it moves sideways and then tanks a little later. But the larger numbers, the alternate ABCD, the 314 BC, all lined up there to find that 142.30, 142.40 level as the correct pattern completion point. So it's really critical to define those structures. We know that the alternate bat is defined by the M and W 3A2 at the B point. It has a low midpoint in the structure, and sometimes it's going to be aggressive price action, but it utilizes those extreme measurements and will line up with a minimum 886, and we also look at the 113, uh, but essentially it's a retest of that, that starting point. But if we differentiate that structure, we know that at a minimum it'll be a larger retest, then we know what to expect. And that British pound example showed a a really nice example of how that 113 comes into play where it tries to break out of a prior uh, pivot point and just can't do it and then rolls over. So that can initiate a strong counter trend move, although uh, alternate bat patterns aren't nearly as popular or as common as the regular pattern. But when they are and you see that 3A2B point, those are good opportunities. Check out more information at harmonictrader.com and you can sign up for the basic membership at harmonictrader.com forward slash basic dash sign dash up forward slash and get more information about the alternate bat.